Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. I will try and sing. <laughs> Hey everybody, wait a minute, let me just show you me. Okay, there we go. We're on, finally. Somehow my music thing here that plays all the music and everything stopped working. And uh, I just went in and changed the uh, output on it and at least uh, it's working. Alright, so that's good. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I just want to kill myself. You know, it's just, it's always one thing or another. Uh, and and I, I that kind of bothers me, you know. It it's it, because you come in here and you just want to do a show, right? And uh, all of a sudden, there's one problem after another. Girlfriend won't be here because she went to bed. She wasn't feeling well anyway, so any excuse she could have not to do the show uh, was uh, was was okay with her. Uh, and and it's okay with us. She needs to, she needs the rest. She needs to be well. And uh, but uh, the trooper that she is, she was willing to come in here and then. Everything that could possibly go wrong was going wrong. I was pushing buttons that weren't starting stuff, uh, and I couldn't figure out why we weren't getting sound out of it. I did a workaround. I don't think I fixed the problem. But then again, you know, it was working this afternoon. It's this thing that plays the music. It's, it's this dealy. Like I have a, a, a thing, and it has a rack, and then I, I can push something, and I get the, like this. This is GabNet. See, but uh, uh, I had to go through another input in order to get it to work. It, it, but nothing changed between when I used it today and now. But, you know, something could have changed. Uh, something could have changed the, the setting. Uh, and I, didn't even, I don't even know if I have it on the correct setting. But it's working, so that's all that matters. So anyway, this is, you know, this is what I have to put up with. You know, I, um, in, in, in broadcasting, you like to do a show. Right? Go on, do a show, get off. Hey, had a good show. Thanks for joining us, right? But you don't want to be at the mercy of the technology. And we are, even more so in this than in radio. You know, in radio, I had a microphone. The microphone was attached to a uh, control board. It had a volume switch on it. That control board was then, believe it or not, there was a line going out of it to the transmitter, was, which was usually in the next room, okay? And then you went out on the air. Now, the only thing that could go wrong was something between your microphone and the transmitter, and that was just a short distance. But now it's everything. I mean, it's this thing with that thing, and is this set up properly? And are we going out on the, you know, I, oh, it's just, it, it's, it's misery, folks. But I don't have to tell you that. You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the citizen panel. What the hell? We're open for business. So if anybody wants to call me, fine. If not, I'm so exhausted I could just stop now. But true to my fashion, rather than just say tonight, okay, that's it. I've had it. I'm not going to do it again, right? Uh, I decided to do it. So here we are. And so now i got to wait for people to call because a lot of people thought we weren't going on the air. And so they weren't, uh, uh, they weren't listening to us to see if we were here. Uh, but we're here, you know, and uh, we're going out. And the picture's going out really nice and all of that. And uh, what's saying? Tech difficulties. Oh, where did we go? Woo. Oh, poor girl. She looks adorable even when she's sick. Uh, and the technical difficulties resolved. A r applause. I'm just glad a radical political group didn't hijack the show. It was the only, only a technical um, issue. Yeah, only a technical issue. Well, here comes Phil. Life can't be that bad. Here, here, here's my friend Phil. He, hey. jo he joined us here. Hello, Phil. Uh, yeah, did you get my uh, Facebook thing? I thought I knew what it was because I have the same rack. And, what, what did you uh, think it was? Well, you go into preferences, yeah. uh, and you just make sure you got the right output. There's two places for preferences. You can do it through um, 
the uh, preferences on the computer, and then there's a yeah. preference section under Soundbite Light. Yeah, and uh, that's where I went and I changed the input. But yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. I changed the output. I changed it from default. Oh. Uh, I, I, it may not have been in default before. I don't know. You know. Hey, my uh, computer just updated. Uh, I, it's the Mac, but uh, there. It said there were updates and updates I, for what though? I don't know. For, I just the, uh, the I pressed the thing and I said reboot and it said thirty one minutes. Oh, oh, that <laughs> no, the, that thirty one minute deal. Yeah, drives it, it ended me up being about ten. It drives me fucking nuts, and I'm going to tell you why. That that's the Mac. That's, that has nothing to do with with uh, the rack. Okay, that we're using yeah. the sound bite. Light. Right. Um, it has nothing to do with it. Yeah, but but Apple does these updates. Now, I got to say something about Windows. When Windows does an update, sometimes they do it without you asking, right? They turn the machine off and turn it back on, but it's maybe five minutes and you got your machine going again. Right. With Apple, it's upwards to an hour when and all it is is like it's a security fix. Yeah. You don't have as many updates with the Apple as you oh, do. Oh, I know way more with the Apple. In the last really? two weeks, I've gotten maybe three, four updates. You probably uh, didn't know about it because your machine probably did it on its own since you probably set it to do it automatically. What happened was yesterday it yeah. said there are updates, and I said do it later. Mm -hmm. uh, then I, I sat down at the machine tonight, and it said uh, uh, some updates didn't install. you got to do something. So it said reboot. I did. I thought all it would be is a reboot, reboot but yeah. it was much more involved. But anyway, I saw I at least did a temporary workaround. I don't know if this is the actual solution to the problem, but I did a workaround. I, I don't think that default is Soundbite Lite's uh, system for output. Uh, I use USB Kodak, COD. Well, I don't I don't use a USB. Uh, well, uh, uh, because I'm using a, a, a separate no, sound no, no, card. No, 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 that has nothing to do with it. This is the output of the... Uh, of soundbite into your computer and what it, what what it's going to use, and so I had to go to something called something Wave, you know. So, it, and that worked. That seemed to work where the other wasn't working. The default wasn't working. So, you know, I mean, it it could have been this thing was sitting here and uh, it hiccuped and uh, it changed its setting. It could have been yeah. something like that. Uh, occasionally, with that soundbite light, and I don't use it that much because you yell at me when I do. <laughs> but but uh, you know, when I do use it, uh, occasionally it's lost its connection with the uh, with the main computer. Yeah. And I operate it from a, from a laptop. Yeah. So now, by know. the way, people, in case you don't know, in case you just joined us, what happened was I had trouble tonight signing on. All kinds of problems, but. The main problem was that something that's crucial wasn't working, and I had to make sure that the uh, uh, that the uh, audio coming in on this channel would work, uh, because that's where we get the voice for the you know the the panel. So, uh, but it it seems to be okay now. So you know, at least for the time being. So, do you have somebody that comes in and cleans? Uh, yes. Uh, you think that occasionally they're using the duster on uh, something that yeah, but, changes but she setting? wasn't she wasn't in today, and this thing was working oh. this morning when I was this yeah. afternoon when I was doing Michael Snyder, it was working yeah. just fine. So something between now and then, you know something? Yeah, I saw something. I had my uh, my uh, audio program open. My uh, uh, what do you call it? whatever the thing is for Adobe. Adobe, oh, uh, Adobe or, or, Sound, yeah, uh, uh, and um, and I, I saw a thing saying uh, you changed your settings. Did you mean to do that? And I went, no. It just came up. Now it could be that somehow something switched itself and it it changed itself to like the input on the uh, on the audio. Let me let me see if that uh, if that audio program works okay. Uh, let, me, let me I'll start it up here and then I'll just check it to make sure that it it works all right. But, you know, this, this is like, you know, this is just one of the many problems that I have to deal with each and every day doing a show around here. And uh, I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm really sick of it. 
you know, uh, go back to the basics. You, you know, know, and I've got to be, I've got to be, I've got to, I've got to, uh, I got to try and solve the problem as fast as possible too. Especially you know. what happens at showtime. And, and so you go around, I checked all the connections to make sure the connections got in and, you know, things like that. And it was okay. But man, oh man. When you have a problem with that rack, just go to the preferences and it, see yeah. if uh, if it's on the right one. Well, I never, I never, you know, I didn't uh, cancel. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I didn't have a problem, you know, uh, but let me see if it's going. It, 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 so I got this notification from Adobe saying you changed your your inputs or something, and I didn't, and I want to just see if the Adobe uh, will work now. Will it work? Will it hear me? Yes? Okay, it's working all right. So somewhere something changed. Oh, here comes, oh, look who we got here. This is a this is a scoop. Wait a minute. Yeah. I added him to the call. Uh, James Lee is here. James, are you there? Yes, how are you doing, Mr. Bennett? How are things in New York City? Uh, I was thinking about him today. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let me bring, bring it up. Let me bring yeah, it up. Okay. You're calling by phone, right, James? Yes. 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 I just, just want to let you know we're surviving out here in Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, you know, even though we got an overflow of the volcano, we had a 6.9 and, and around 12:40 this afternoon with a big shaker. I yeah. heard James. Uh, the, streets, the streets were cracking, and some of them were, had fire on, uh, on them or under. Well, them. That, yeah, yeah, that was on the Lanier space. But the six point nine six did not knock everything down off the big now, way in the KTA how, how supermarket close, how, here. Yeah, how close is Renee to where that was happening? It's not the Leila. Well, I don't know. Wait, wait, I'm, hold I'm on about a second, forty-five Phil. miles from it. Renee's probably maybe sixty miles. Oh, on the okay. Side. All right. She's okay. On the west side. Okay. Now I feel a little more calm. But, you know, we're all we're all within we're all in proximity of uh, Mother Pele. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Sulfur. Is that affecting you? Yeah. Well, no, it's blowing the other way. But you know that stuff if it mixes in our lungs, that's sulfuric acid. So that's nasty stuff. Yeah. Uh, but you know. You know, there are about uh, maybe a thousand homes in that area, so those folks are really, uh, you know, yeah. You can't get home insurance and all that stuff. There's a real problem going on. So that's why the governor's declared a state of emergency. Out here. National Guard's here. Yeah. Huh. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, they're out full force. Well, I just, you know, I, 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 I wrote Renee and I said, uh, you know, are you getting yeah. any email or anything? And she didn't write back. Yeah. Or message me at all. So maybe is ser are services out? Uh, in certain areas, yes. Uh, Helco Hawaiian Electric is down. Uh, we're okay for now, but, you know, we're going to get a lot of aftershocks tonight. At 6-9, as you know, it's a biggie. So yeah. we're going to get some, a bunch of aftershocks uh, in the evening, rock and yeah. roll. Yeah. I was flying into uh, Hilo when it happened, so they had to set the airport down and check the runway for damage so we could land. It yeah. was okay to come in. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, if you didn't see a picture of Phil and uh, James for a second, but I was trying to adjust stuff here. That's and all right. No, no, then no, I got no, all I'm on the boat. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to back off right now since you've got your show. You're running out of Thank New York you. City, and you know, say hello to the gang. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, and, and stay safe. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. The, the, the roaches and the cookie frogs are going to keep us real happy. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Okay. Good. I'm glad we heard from. Him. Okay. Yeah. I I uh, I don't have an email address for uh, Renee, and I was concerned uh, the same as you. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I went to her Facebook. And, and sent her a message on Facebook, but didn't get any reply. So I, I figured maybe, maybe you know, maybe service was out where she was. That's always a possibility. Yeah. You know? Sure. Uh, yeah. And, and James did say the uh, the electrical the electric service was out. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. I didn't have the picture of Phil and Mr. Uh, Lee up there for hurts. a moment. Huh? <laughs> you know. Oh, it's just uh, one of those nights. And now nobody's calling on top of it. Six point nine. That's pretty big. What did we have in San Francisco in '89? That's not an earth. He wasn't. I, I don't know if he was talking about an earthquake or he was talking that's, about. That's, oh. No, no, no. They've had they've had hundreds of earthquakes in Kona, yeah. uh, and that's uh, one of the reasons. And it's a byproduct of the eruption. Yeah. But uh, yes, they've had. Uh, the, uh, what he said well, was six point nine. When we Loma Prieta was seven one. Okay, well, that's still a lot more powerful than a six point nine. But a yeah. 6 .9. However, however. If you if you have it in a in a t place where you have like one story buildings things like that, mm -hmm. or you have a lot of countryside, uh, the damage isn't the same as if you're in a city. You know, you Except can have freeways got falling lava, down. Hot lava and fire. Underneath. No, well, that, now that's the other factor. That's yeah. the other factor. You know, 
Yeah, I saw the news reports. It was uh, it was phenomenal. Yeah. What's going on? So nobody's calling tonight. I guess they all gave up on me, huh? Ah, uh, that's early. What time is it? Uh, you got twenty minutes before. Uh, wait, no. Oh no, it's uh, past seven thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, this is the. Uh, yeah, well, I guess when they, when some people came through and didn't hear anything, they just figured we weren't doing a show tonight. Although I was playing my show from last night, so how did they know it wasn't like tonight? You know. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear that on the live feed. Yeah. And anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The uh, what else is going on in the world today? Because you know I've been cloistered in my store, uh, just working. Well. Uh, among other things, Rudy Giuliani can't get his story straight. I did hear that uh, a judge uh, in Virginia admonished Mueller for uh, having too wide of a scope on his investigation and uh, over. Uh, I didn't. Manaf- hear, I didn't hear that. Yeah. No, Manafort uh, is asking for that. I don't uh, think the judge, the judge. I don't think the judge made a decision on it. Yeah, but the judge in Virginia. I believe his name was Evans, uh, 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 admonished uh, Mueller for too wide of an investigation. Oh, let's see here. Mueller admonished. Mueller admonished. By uh, a well, Virginia I, judge. Oh, that's all I have to know. Uh, Mueller admonished. Uh, uh, now, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Republican Trump layoff. Mueller. No, there's nothing here. Um, no. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Well, maybe the word admonished might be uh, the, the wrong uh, wrong way to look at it. Judge. But uh, he was, uh, he, this judge, I believe his name was Evans. Okay. Judge Ma- in Manafort's case says Mueller's aim is to hurt Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how do you know that's not, how, do you know the politics of the judge? Uh, he was appointed by Reagan. Okay, well, that says it right there. Well, yeah, but no, no that know, says it right. That says it right there. Judges aren't supposed to be political. Oh, uh, bullshit! Well, they're not supposed well, to be. Uh, how do you, how do they wind up in this court in Virginia? Uh, it seems as though some of the things that he's going uh, that Mueller is going after Manafort are based in uh, Virginia, and some others are based in D.C. I think they went to a judge they know would be sad. It would be well, in their, it would be to sympathetic with, uh, towards them. Uh, yeah. Just because you know, just because a Reagan-appointed judge admonishes Mueller doesn't mean it isn't politically motivated. Would you this agree, is Rob? First, this is the first time, though. Yeah. Would you agree, uh, Rob? Um, I didn't hear the conversation. Oh well, he he was talking about this judge today that admonished uh, Mueller for for uh, his probe being going too far, and that and it was, was Virginia. A, a Virginia, it was, yeah, it's in Virginia. Yeah. That's where he's. From. I know. I know. I'll make sure I don't vote for that motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. If but you, what, you, what you, Phil, what Phil was what, saying is, he says, "Are you saying the judges are are have have political agendas?" And I went, "Yeah, well, yeah." If this guy loves Trump, this guy's a Trump fan, okay, and he's a diehard Republican. He's going to think that Mueller is out to get Trump. Well, Trump, Mueller is a Republican, and Comey is a Republican, and all these guys that he's his his Justice Department is made up of all Republicans. The whole thing is just a big. It's a, it's, a, it's a disaster for our country, is what it, it is. Although this is the first time that Mueller is being uh, told that his investigation is too broad. And that it has nothing, and these bank fraud things and so forth have nothing to do with uh, the Russians. And, and what about when uh, when Clinton was investigated and all of that and where it started and where it ended up? Yeah, it, it wound up it Alex, wound Alex, up being the Monica Lewinsky thing, where they where they absolutely blindsided Clinton in that deposition by saying, "And what about Monica Lewinsky?" And Alex, change, and that's where he perjured himself. Can you give me a what about? No, I'm not saying what. No, it's not. Hey, that's yeah, not yeah, what aboutism. You you're the one. You're the one who's saying that. That uh, uh, I didn't say anything. All I said was that uh, 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 Mueller was admonished by the by this judge. Yeah. For, uh, yeah. Uh, and so, going, and, and what and what power does this judge have over Mueller's investigation? Uh, it's it has to do with Manafort. Yeah, none really, because it won't stand up. 
They were saying today there's no way what he is saying will stand up. Who? What the judge is saying. Judge? Yeah. Or Manafort. No, what the judge is saying is, is you know, it's a, it's what's sad about it is that um, it makes it, 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 it's, it's, um, I can't explain it because I'm half asleep. Um, but it's it's a sad day for for Mueller and and this country, quite frankly, because it's a, a kink in the armor. Um, if you don't see that there's a lot going on here that needs to be investigated, then you're just blind to it. Yes, there's- but he was appointed for a specific reason. It was to find Russian interference in the uh, in the election. It, it, all right. So if he sees something else no, while he's uh, looking, and, and he's also to- into possible I, I collusion of certain people with the Russian government oh, to bring it about. He, but Alex, even two thousand five. Uh, uh, offenses, 2005 and 2007, supposedly by. Well, Manif- this is one of the reasons why why Mueller didn't raid Cohn's office. Why the exactly. New York State did it? Because if you New see York something, State has a case. Something, and yeah. We say that all the time on the subway systems and the. If he sees something while he's investigating, he's handling it the right way. He turns it they, over to the local authorities. The judge. That's what the judge said. He said it should be handled by a Virginia state court and not uh, Mueller's investigation. Uh, that uh, Mueller didn't. No, have, but there are uh, other things about Manafort and in his dealings with the Russians. Yes, but these these issues that he's trying to prosecute have to do with money laundering and uh, uh, some other stuff from 2005 and 2007. Well, and all I'm saying is that they, they, the Mueller investigation is looking at Manafort because they think Manafort talked to the Russians and, and set all this shit up with the Russians for, right. for Trump. And they want to turn him. They want to make a deal and turn him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're manip- maneuvering uh, to, uh, to weaken Mueller's uh, actions. Well, even I, even uh, what's the guy's name uh, on Fox has come out against this whole thing now. He, he, you're losing the Fox hosts. Uh, yeah, what's, what's his, his name? Uh, the guy who does their their uh, their business news. Neil Cavuto. Ne- Neil yeah, Cavuto. Neil Cavuto came out negatively against Trump, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let me ask you this, Phil. I was thinking about this today. Uh, how do you know when somebody is hiding something? How do you know when he's hiding something? What What are some of the things you you notice? I'll give you one of them right now. Maybe, uh, you know, a, a furtive eye movements. No, no, no. Well, this thing, the, what, this holding of the arms that, like this, that, that's certainly, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a tell. You know, yeah, that's there a was one. Uh, uh, move. Yeah, right. but uh, how about this one? Try this one on for size. If somehow you can't get your story straight, it's not the same story every time. They'll prosecute you. <laughs> well, no, but what I'm saying is Trump never gets his story straight. It's a different story every day. And, you know, if you're telling the truth, your story never varies because right. you're telling the truth. You're telling the story as you know it. But That's when you're funny. lying, when you're lying, you have to keep yeah. In mind what you lied about before, but if you I, don't, you're going to slip up. I was listening to Willie Brown this morning on the radio. Oh, that's and your problem. It's a, it's a show. And now he said that uh, Giuliani getting in front of the Stormy Daniels $130,000 thing uh, hmm. on Trump, he yeah. says basically Giuliani did the right thing because it's going to come out. So he says just get ahead of it. Expose it, and that will uh, lessen its impact. And so he said that Giuliani did the right thing by. Well, if uh, Giuliani out. thought he was doing the right thing, why is why is he backtracking today? Yeah, he's uh, changed the story today. Well, I didn't hear the story change, but I did uh, hear Willie Brown, who uh, was an assembly speaker and mayor of San Francisco. And also, and- also, also, Trump can't get uh, get things straight about when when. Uh, 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 when, when Giuliani started working for him, he said he just started working for me yesterday, and every press person said it go, it's been on record that he started two weeks ago. Well, I had a tough day today, too. Uh, oh. Getting- oh. Yeah. oh. Uh, I, I must have had real low biorhythms today. 
uh, and forgetting stuff. I went out. I drove 60 miles round trip this morning, 8.30 this morning, to go do uh, a measure in somebody's house. I had another appointment around the corner from this house. I got in my car. I drove back to the store. Woman calls, said, where are you? I said, oh. I just I got my car drove back and you know I forgot to look and by the so way is anybody go, else going to call us tonight I had to go back this afternoon is anybody else going to call us tonight do I have to shame you into it I don't know uh, people have not been calling lately it just pisses me off you know you you might want to try my Trump free zone well no I you know I mean I don't want to I never have I've always made it a policy when I do a program that I don't drive the discussion in any particular direction. I let it drive itself. And I so there, by, there uh, by, by saying it's a Trump-free zone, you're saying this is what you can't talk about. I don't I think, think it has anything to do with content. Uh, well, what, nothing to do with content. What do you think like it has to do with? Well, you know, well, I, I just, I no, wait a minute, I asked Rob. Oh, I, I didn't. I just think it's, uh, you know, it's circumstance. The season's changing and I know for me it's been circumstance. Um, the seasons are changing, and, and different things pull you in different directions, and that's what it boils down to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not content. Uh, not well, a matter of I, what actually, you're talking about. Uh, Alex has a loyal cadre of, uh, of balls. Right. And, Apparently uh, not. And, Apparently and, not. And, and it becomes a habit uh, for, for people to call, but uh, I have noticed with people like Scott Boddicker, for instance, as soon as we start arguing about Trump, he, he clears out. Uh, he, he doesn't want to hear it. And then yesterday, after uh, the show, uh, the Skype was still on, and I chatted uh, with uh, Ray and... Um, I don't other... know how you could have, because I shut it down here. Well, we, yeah. we, we sat there and had a conversation. And uh, uh, so I chatted with Ray, and I chatted with uh, the CD, not the, the the ham radio guy. Yeah. And uh, both of them, you know, I, I ran by the idea of the Trump-free zone, and both of them said, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, you know, well, I, that's great. I don't think it's a great idea. Well, you never think it's a great no, idea. I don't think, no, I don't think it's a great idea zone. because what, I'm, what you're doing by doing that is you're restricting the conversation. And if somebody wants to talk about Trump, then let them talk about Trump. Yeah, all right, well. Uh, I, I just uh, I just see that the mood of uh, the listeners maybe and the mood of the people are they're, they're just burned out on it. There could be some. Well, I'm burned out on sure. doing this fucking show, but I come in here and do it every night, so I at least expect people to call. Maybe you're burned out because of Trump. <laughs> you know? That's part of it. I no, I'm not, I, I, it's, Trump, it's, Trump hasn't burned me out. No, not at all. I mean, I'm tired I, of it. I don't. I'm not watching the news as much as I did. Because I'm just sick and tired of the way they present it, you know, yeah. all of them. I called Doesn't... it the low-hanging fruit, that Trump is the low-hanging fruit and an easy topic. No, and... Trump is a scumbag. Forget about low-hanging fruit. <laughs> He's just a scumbag. All right, so it's a low-hanging scrotum. You know, but... I mean... Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know what got to me today, though? I mean, this is, Trump was speaking to the NRA. Yeah. And he starts going off on the Justice Department and they're all cheering him. And I'm thinking to myself, huh, <laughs> let's see, the NRA, don't they believe in law and order? And they're yeah, cheer but... and they're cheering somebody saying how terrible the Justice Department is. They're not they're not supporting their Justice Department. If you believe the way Trump believes he thinks that the Justice Department is tainted and they're working against him. And those, the people at the NRA, are going to agree uh, with that. No, he, 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 no, but, no but, it's, but it's unpatriotic of them to agree with that. Because they, they believe in law and order and then they don't believe in the very um, uh, um, uh, weapons we have to maintain that law and order. Well, uh, these leaks and things like that that they know were coming from the FBI and the Justice Department uh, that were what there leaks? to hurt what, what Trump. What leaks? What leaks? Well, the leaks that Trump has they been talking about. They didn't leak anything. The, the Justice Department, the it, Justice Department funny. doesn't have an agenda. However, if you attack them, they're going to feel hurt and well, they're not going to be partial to you. 
Didn't Comey have an attack? No, a, a not at all. He came out with a book. After the fact, That's Phil. Exciting. Yeah, well, but he, uh, there was also a number of things. His book we, was... His book was sanctioned by the FBI. He ran everything by them to make sure nothing in there was uh, was classified or. Uh, Remember when he, uh, Trump met with these Russian uh, people in the White House, and then didn't yep. have his people in the in the Oval Office. Yep, that conversation got leaked. And wow, it would have been Trump's people it would have who been did Trump's it. Trump's people, right? It was somebody. It was somebody in in the White House that leaked. Well, the, it was one of Trump's uh, confidants. Well, he says that it was one of Obama's leftovers. Oh, jeez. You know, <laughs> you know, you've got a president who is just the classic uh, uh, incarnation of paranoia. See, I don't know what the truth is and the truth isn't. All I can do is observe and say, this is what this guy said. That's what that guy said. But I'm not sitting in the room, so I don't know what the truth is. So you had James Comey, who was appointed by George Bush, right? Right. So, and then he stayed through the Obama administration, and uh, the first few months of part of, of the Trump, reason, right? part of the reason, how does, yeah. how does that organization go corrupt in just those couple of George months? George Bush didn't vote for Trump; he voted for Hillary. But the, well, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. The, you know, it's a Republican. Uh, he's a he's a, a staunch Republican, as and he said he didn't vote. Oh, uh, well, he said he wasn't voting for Trump. He uh, said he vote. Oh, well, I thought he I, voted for Trump. Because I want you to know I did not vote. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. But uh, I, I knew he didn't support Trump, and he said that I thought he supported Hillary. Uh, so he's turning this thing into, he's destroying the country by trying to protect himself, and it's a horrible thing what he's doing. He, the, uh, the deal with Trump was he was being attacked by even the Republicans when he uh, was going either for the nomination or got the nomination. Right. Uh, so. the speech by uh, uh, Romney. Right. right. Rightfully so. Rightfully right. so. And he should be able to take it. But he's never been able to take it. He well, couldn't he take it from Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. He couldn't take yeah. It that's a Bill good example. Barr. But here's what I'm saying, Phil. If you're, if when you lie, you have to be so consi consistent in your lying that you don't get caught, and it's, it's very hard to do because once you start a lie, you have to remember what you lied before and the trail it's of your. Hold on, let me finish. Ooh, don't get upset. Well, I mean, I can't talk. You interrupt every time I'm going to talk. I thought it was a conversation. No, it's a conversation, but I have to say, you know, you have to remember Skype muffles things and tamps things down and so on. So we have to talk one at a time and finish our thought. Oh, like single duplex. Oh, boy. Anyway, um, uh, when, when, you're, when you're lying, you have to be consistent in your lying. Because if you, you have to remember what you lied about before and how that lie lines up with the newest lie. And if you're not doing that, which is very hard to do, so it's very hard. It's harder to lie than to tell the truth. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Because the truth is always going to be consistent. You're always going to say, "This is what happened." Ba 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 ba. And you you don't you don't get tripped up anywhere. The truth is very easy to tell. It's the lies that are hard to tell and that trip you up. This guy is different every time he tells the story. He's lying through his fucking teeth. Well, Giuliani oh. is therefore doing the right thing by saying, just get in front of this stuff, admit what you, you know, what you got, get in front of it, and put it to bed. Yeah, and Giuliani's a great lawyer, isn't he? Probably. No, you he's know, not. He, he's he not. He's a terrible lawyer. Crime syndicate. No, no, that has, but then that's not lawyering. He was a prosecutor. Prosecuting. He was a prosecutor. Yeah. It's, he's not a good lawyer. No. Uh, why would you? I mean, you know, I, he's he's such a, such a bad lawyer. I wouldn't want him doing my rent case here at my apartment. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's 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 the worst. He's just the worst of the worst. I'm embarrassed that he's a Yankee fan. <laughs> well, you know, he is because he's from. Well, he could be a Mets fan if he wants. He's probably a Mets fan. <laughs> no, he's a huge Yankee fan. Huge. Yeah. Not enough to make you stop paying attention to the Yankees, right? I mean, I, I can't control who who are fans or not. But <laughs> he's he's got his box seats. He's you, you could see him 
every time they have the they they shoot from uh, center field the center field camera because his box seat is right next to Jimmy Fallon's behind home plate. He's behind home plate. First seat, first row, right behind home plate. You see him in any time they take the shot from center field. Wow. wow. And he's there. Yeah. Don't when you get a feeling home- whenever you see a photograph of him, he's got spinach in his teeth? Don't you have the feeling that there's something he hasn't completely, he doesn't brush often? He's organic. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, sad. I now, didn't like him as mayor. When, well, he did a good job with the city. But Bullshit. He no, turned, he did, did a shitty job for the city. Disneyland. Yeah. He, changed, was, he, he literally took the soul out of this fucking city, Phil. Right. You mean by cleaning it up and, and, and he, taking the urine and the dog it, shit off the street? And, no, he just moved it to a different area. Yeah. But he moved it's all good. <laughs> You didn't clean it up. You're never going to get rid of the hey, tan. Hey, that racist that bastard never cleaned up Harlem, never helped to rejuvenate Harlem. This, this, this town, this, this Harlem went down to its deepest depths during his administration. Yeah, because he pushed everything. They used it like a, a, a broom closet. Just push everything into it and jam the door shut. Yeah. Now it's gentrifying, and areas like the South Bronx are gentrifying. Where are they pushing the people now? Well, they get, they're getting pushed out of town. It's where they're getting pushed out of. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to believe that it's that long ago that Giuliani's been gone. It's almost, what, 16 years. Yeah. Something it's like crazy. that. Yeah. 17 years. Yeah. Oh, well, here comes somebody else. Uh... Yeah, it's it's Kevin who last night wasn't here because it was his his daughter's birthday, right? Kevin, can Hello. you can you hear me, Kevin? Yep. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Uh, turn up your mic a little bit more. Sorry. Uh, no. So you, it was your daughter's birthday last night, right? No. Oh well. Then no, you, she was uh, she was playing her sax in a. Oh school concert okay i knew it was some kind of event because you wrote me and said i'd like to be on but i have a a thing to attend tonight with my daughter you know i thought it was a birthday i seemed no it's a school that. concert oh okay plays cool. her saxophone so how did so, you, how was that was dad free. was dad proud oh yeah <laughs> it was oh, yeah. kevin free show huh <laughs> yeah yeah not you're missing much yeah <laughs> So all the parents there with their iPhones taking pictures of their kids doing their thing? Uh, yeah. I hate you know that. what? I was a little pissed at some of the parents. What, why? You know, they, you got the 6th and 7th and 8th graders, and the 6th graders get done, and, and they all stand up, and they they start leaving. You know, you're supposed to sit around and watch the other kids, but right. these parents get all pissy, and they get up, and they drag their kids out, and they don't wait for the other kids, and it, it just pissed me off. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a courtesy to stay through the exactly, show. Exactly, you know, and it, you know, they're trying to teach the other kids the discipline and watch the other kids and all that stuff. And you know, I, I got you know I what was I gonna know? I was gonna go on a Facebook rant and got all pissed off and I, I decided not they to. Hold up a uh, iPad and they try to record the the thing and they got the iPad over their head. And yeah, now, Rob, you don't have any, have any kids and neither do I. Do you miss this little thing that they're enjoying? No, <laughs> I I, uh, I see my neighbors. You know, we're really close with our neighbors. They all have kids. Yeah, and I always think, thank God I didn't. When my uh, oldest daughter was in sixth grade, she was in a play, and I went to the play. It was something about Lincoln. She was Mary Lincoln, and I brought her a dozen roses and gave it to her after the play. She had such a big smile. That is something that I'll always remember. Oh, yeah, I did that, too. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And later on in life, did she break your heart at all? Now she doesn't talk to me. See? Okay. <laughs> so fuck her. You know, that's why, we, that's why Rob and I didn't have kids, because they, they have no appreciation. But then you get grandkids, and you get to pay them all back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? When you become a grandparent... Suddenly, you become the babysitter. Yeah, I don't mind that because you spoil the shit out of them, and then you give them back to the kids, and they call up the next day. What'd you do to them? I spoiled the shit out of them. That's what I did. It's kind of like it's kind of like we we cat sat for this cat that uh, Jack and, and Natalia have, and and Natalia says, you know, I sent you a cat, and I got back a diva. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, my oldest lives in L.A., and my youngest lives in Toronto. So uh, if they end up with kids, 
I don't think I'm going to be babysitting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they live they live about 200 miles away, so I don't get it all the time, you know. So. How old are they? Special uh, when they, huh? I was asking Phil how old his kids were. Uh, 24 and 26. Oh, and then are they married? Uh, they uh, they're both living with guys. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's all right. Yeah, but they don't talk to you. Uh, the one in Toronto, I don't even know her phone number. And the one in L.A. will text me back, okay, you know, how you doing? You know, happy birthday. Okay. <laughs> you know, one word. Boy, I'm glad that I don't have all this non-appreciation. Yeah. My dog, though, I came home from work today. I laid down in the bed for a few minutes. She jumped up. She kissed me and licked my face. She couldn't wait to see me. Well, isn't so, that, yeah, with all of your health problems and all that with the prostate cancer, they didn't reach out. Uh, nothing. Wow. Really? Uh, yeah. You were you a terrible father or something? I mean, is there any reason why they should hate you? No, I didn't bond that well. I used to go to work at five in the morning, and yeah. I'd come home at eight at night. They'd yeah. be asleep at five. They'd be yeah. asleep at eight. Uh, and you know, I'd kiss them on the forehead when I'd leave in the morning, but they were asleep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I never I never did this stuff. I never changed a diaper. Uh, well, they wouldn't remember that. It can't be the diaper changing. Well, and, you know, I used to I used to be open seven days a week until I realized my kids were like uh, eight and ten. And I said, I don't remember. And uh, then, you know, when you get divorced, uh, they're living at home and uh, they didn't want to spend any time with me. They said, we have our rooms at home. We don't need to. Sp I bought a 4,000 square foot house with four bedrooms so that they could have their own bedrooms in the house. Wow. Now, one of them stayed with me one night because she had a fight with her mother. Other than that, nothing. Really? Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Well, uh, uh, we've been joined by Tony and by Ray Renati as well. Hello. So maybe we have what amounts to a citizens panel here now, officially. Yeah. Um, we had a little trouble tonight, folks, if you didn't know. Uh, starting off the show, we actually got on about 20, 25 minutes late when I finally fixed the technical problems that I was having. Uh, it's always, always, this whole process is pure and utter magic, folks. <laughs> yeah, I checked in once and there was nothing going on. I went, oh, shit, what happened? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Ray? I'm doing great. I took a hang gliding lesson today. Really? Jeez. Yeah. Wait, how old are you, Ray? Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Okay. Well, you still got you got still got some get up and go then. Yeah, I figure I might as well do it now. You know, I today I there was a I had a fan and the fan is making a on high speed is making a tick 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 noise. Not terrible. Not grinding or anything like that. Just tick tick tick. And uh, I wanted to get up on the bed. To like try and fix it, to reach it and, and fix it and see if I could uh, figure out why it was making that noise. And I couldn't get up on the bed. And, and, uh, and a lot of it is my fear of like the, uh, t uh, the torn meniscus that I have having a problem. But, you oh, know, yeah. it was just a matter of getting up on the bed and going, can I get up on the bed? You know, in I, the old days, well, I just hop up on the bed, stand up. Was it like a balance I, thing? At a balance problem? Ages, no. At all our ages, no. we don't. We right. shouldn't be on ladders. We shouldn't be standing on stools. Uh, none of that stuff because we don't have the balance uh, that we used to have. Or, and especially, don't stand on somebody else's stool. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, Tony had his hand up. He wanted to say something. Your microphone My isn't on, Tony. Uh, Can't hear you. We, nope. We, Could be a good thing. It could be a good thing. Yeah. But no mic. Is your microphone on? Oh, no, don't try You're and muted. say something. We can't hear you. You're muted. See, technical difficulties all over the place, right? I thought he was Italian. Tony, <laughs> listen hands, to me. With his hands, we don't need the. Listen to me. Does your mic? There's a thing that has your microphone on it. Your, your, when you go down and you look at those things, and there's a there's a mic there's a camera and there's a microphone. Do you see that? Right? Is the microphone on or is there a slash through it? No slash. So that's your your device is not selected in uh, uh, then tools. Go up, okay, here we go, yep. folks. Time out now for some technical problems to be solved <laughs> once again. Just, 
cat right. out here. He's going to go through all of this to get no. his microphone to work, and he's not going to say anything. That's right. Uh, so <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Go up to uh, what are you using? Just nod to me. Are you using a PC? Are you using a PC? Are you using a Mac? Yes. Okay. Well, on the Mac, uh, let's see here. Who has a Mac there? Uh, go up to Skype. Uh, okay. Go up to Skype. Use a drop down. Use the drop down. Okay. And then I'll walk you through it here. Yeah. Um, let me get there here. Hey, God dang it. Okay. Recipe follow then go along. to uh, audio and video settings. Okay. Uh, he's and there. then you should see microphone. And it might be the and mute. It, it should be either a built-in input or if you have a webcam, um, you'll want to put it onto your webcam. No, what uh, do you have some uh, the uh, I don't think he uh, has when a you talk account. when you're talking right now talk say something Tony and is is it making is the bar moving back and forth up there when you talk Oh okay then you're not having an input to it Try test audio Do you uh, did you go say you, you have up? a test audio button there Uh go go to the Skype call That's great broadcasting Contacts. Okay, dun, 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 and press dun, the dun, Skype dun. call and see if you can record on it. No, no, don't, don't go through all of that, you know. Well, that's how he'll know whether he has an output. That's what I do. I use the Skype call test with yeah. the British lady. Yeah. So weird. Well, Since I reinstalled well, Skype, um, people freeze on me now. Like, Phil's totally frozen. Tony, Tony, okay. it doesn't do you much good to talk to us since we can't hear you. <laughs> Uh, I think you should let him talk. Just just let him keep doing it. Now he's doing sign language. Well, yeah. in there, you probably don't. If you're not seeing the bar go back and forth when you talk, then it probably means that you're not, uh, your input isn't the correct input. Right. Yeah. So that's it, plain and simple. Let's forget about you know, that. What? The numbers I, just went up, by the oh. way. The viewership just went up when we got went into this whole technical difficulty, solve the problem. <laughs> I wonder how they're going to solve it. How are they going to fix it? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I actually, I should have stayed on while I was trying to fix my problems because that would have gotten me just 80 million. How many million computers does he have there? I don't know. Look at well, that. He's got some PJs he's got three. on. He's going he's <laughs> to go over to another computer and sign on. He's got another one on the left. Yeah, he's got that. He, yeah. He's got the computer room. One, in. there's two, and he's three. And he doesn't know. have any friends. How does that? <laughs> <laughs> there's one for the dog. <laughs> hmm? Okay, uh, uh, t Tony, you're trying to call. He's probably trying to call us from his other computer, right, Tony? Yeah. Why don't I hang up on you and call us from that one? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's like he's swimming. It's like from the 1980s. Huh? It's like it's like his his chair ballet. <laughs> um, oh, damn. Yeah. This is exciting radio. Television. So, uh, I I get a I get a bill today from Comcast. They raised me from fifty nine dollars a month yeah. to uh, eighty bucks a month. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I said, so I called them up and I said, uh, "Look, you got to put uh, me up, into retention." Up, up to how much? Eighty. Now, now I only have internet with them. Yeah. So no they and now they're charging you what? Eighty instead of sixty. Instead of sixty, they went up twenty bucks. Right. They said that the promotion was over. So I said, well, give me another promotion. So they said, we don't have any other promotions. I said, then good. Take me off auto bill. And I, uh, I just uh, signed up with Wave. They're going to call me in the next two days. I'm getting a one gig down mm -hmm. and 10 uh, meg up. Yeah. Uh, which is the same up speed that I've got with the other one yeah. for 70 bucks. So, wow. oh. so Perfect. you know, maybe uh, the, what's happening with uh, Ray's computer is that his download uh, is is slow. Oh, I bet they're throttling me now. Yeah. Uh, now there's one way you can check. You can well, go to your speed what, what, you, what makes you think yeah. that Ray is being throttled? I'm getting a beautiful picture on Ray. Uh, 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 no, no latency or anything. I know, it's, but it, it is down speed. You know what? What's getting? What he's getting into him. Well, everyone's moving perfectly except Phil. Phil's frozen on my screen. Well, sometimes that happens. You know, the, yeah. uh, in one place somebody is on the screen and in another place he's not. 
you know. Yeah. So. Move yeah. and see if that makes it. But otherwise, you're you're you know you're you're coming in here loud and clear. So. Yeah, my mic sounds okay and everything. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. The only thing is, I would turn off your automatic focus, but that's the only problem. Oh, is it going in and out? It, it throbs a little bit. Oh, you know? uh, okay. Um, in fact, I would suggest that to everybody who's listening. If you can get to your wherever you in your system, you take care of the camera. Turn off the autofocus because oh. once you've got it focused, you've got it focused. You know, it's, it doesn't need to be automatically focused. There, I just turned it off. Um, here comes here now. Here comes Tony. Let's see if we can hear him from his other computer. Hello, Tony. No, we can't hear you. It's his room. Huh? It's haunted. the room. It's not the computer. <laughs> it's haunted. <laughs> uh, Auto focus off. <clears throat> I did the same thing. Did it make any difference? Yeah. Yeah. You're still frozen on my screen. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was having some freeze up problems too, but maybe it's. Well, there goes Tony again. Yeah. It could be my video drive. It could be so many different things. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, enough of the yeah. enough of the uh, technical problems. Because <laughs> I had I had them at the beginning of the show tonight, and uh, uh, I still don't understand what happened. But I think that somewhere along the line. Uh, my computer decided to have a mind of its own and change settings uh, uh, because I, I, you know, I got a warning that some setting had been changed or something, but that's not on this machine. I don't know. I don't get it. I yeah, that happened know. to me, Alex, and I had to reinstall Windows, and I could not fix it. You couldn't fix it? I tried everything, hey, and uh, I kept getting this message that Windows could, could not update. To the latest, and I, I was getting behind and behind and behind, so I just I just reinstalled Windows. It's tough to go from DOS to Windows, but yeah. hey, Alex, I still go to a DOS prompt a lot. Anyway. Alex said that we couldn't have had a conversation last night on Skype because he turned the Skype off. But you and I and the, yeah, the I, I I I do two things here. I end my feed. I turn myself to offline. And you could still keep talking to each other. And then I hit end here to end the conversation. And you say you just kept talking, huh? Yeah, I've done that a bunch of times. Yeah, probably about five minutes. Even wow. though Jack needs to jump on Skype. He has his own Skype. He uses the GabNet Skype. Oh, well. Uh... No, we were. No, this is I've done it a bunch of times. John and I have talked for quite a while after and never hung up, even if you've closed it, Alex. Yeah. And and then and then the uh, the show after us still gets goes on somehow. Yeah, yeah this is I've, very, this I've, very I've, strange. Hey. It's very strange. Gee, I you know I probably the best way for me to do a show would be offline. <laughs> <laughs> did yeah. You, did you have a good discussion? Yeah. 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 You know, usual stuff. Prostates. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, there we can talk about well, prostates Oscar, and not bore the audience. You know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what uh, uh, ham radio operator, what's his name, Van or? Uh, Vern. 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 Yeah. Vern. He had a uh, uh, prostate cancer issue and, and had radiation. So we were chatting about that. And oh, gee, it's wonderful when the, when the one thing that binds you together with another human being is your fucking prostate. <laughs> I had a prostate infection. I was in the hospital for a week. with Ooh, it. Really? It can't be fun. No, it was not. I almost died. Wow, really? Yeah, like 20 years ago. Jeez. I was having convulsion. My fever was so high, I was having convulsions. What was it? Just a prostate infection? Yeah. How do you get that? I think it was from windsurfing in the bay over by the airport. Something just got up what there. What happened? Did the, did, the, uh, the, did the mask from the sails go up your ass? I mean, what, no. what happened? I think there's some kind of like bacteria from the what? ocean went up my dick. Oh. Really? It, yeah. Actually, you pee; it goes out, not in. Yeah, but I couldn't pee because I was taking this. I was taking this medicine the doctor had given me for something, and it was causing me a urinary retention. That was the problem. And so, whatever got stuck in there wasn't couldn't come out. And then I and, and then I got this infection. Mm. Wow. It was horrible. Wow. Yeah, that's the thing. I know, man. Like, It'll do that like, to you. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, they had. How fragile. 
Okay, here comes Super Tony. Oprah. He's calling from another machine because he has another picture of those fucking Muppets. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm only getting the Okay, initials. Tony, turn your, turn your camera on now. Can you hear Me? us? Yes. See, we can hear you, Tony. Thank you. Yeah, I went to, I went to, the, to the Windows machine, thank God. I, I brought my laptop up from downstairs. Oh, okay. You see oh, so he's got four machines. Yeah. Put your face a little more in the center, though. Move yeah, the lid your down. camera. Yeah. Frame, frame yourself a little bit. Not no, the other way. <laughs> this way. Now, but now that we can see your face, yeah. put yourself. There you go. Now we can see your face. Put yourself out of frame. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's reading like a vampire. No, you're you're amazing though, Tony. You're trying to talk to us, and you know we can't hear you. I know. I, I don't know why I do that. I'm stubborn. No, that's what it is. It's Tony, Tony, coming at Tony, me. You're muted. You're muted. Uh, no. Like no. If you, <laughs> if you yell, if you yell, you, you probably figure if you yell loud enough, it'll get through the internet. Yeah. It, it, like sometimes it's, it's the stupidness coming through. Like I still think you can hear me. Like maybe you can read my lips. That's how yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to hang up and call back because I figured out what the problem was. It was my driver and now nothing's showing. So, mm -hmm. so you got to okay. go? Okay. Well, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, you'll be right. We back. have her camera. We can see. Boy, this is a night yeah, full of nothing. Yeah, I can't see anybody. This is a night yeah. of a. We should call this a night of a thousand problems. I, I'm like you, Alex. I love the computers. I love like saving all my computer stuff. I go crazy over it. Like what? the computers, I like the, the computers. I love having like millions of different toys. You like? like, the, like I don't get what you're like, saying. I, I can have it. Meaning, like, I like to have, like, you know, you know how like, you like to have the TVs? I wish I had a computer, like, in every room. Like, that's just, like, my dream. You can just have a laptop and then the computer's I've got, in every I've, room with I've, you. I've almost, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, get yourself an iPad and you can take it to every room you go into. Yeah, I like the laptop still, though. I don't know why. Well, I have two whole studios here now. I have another one set up in another room, too. And I've got one, two, three, four, five screens in here with one, two, three computers Wait a minute, yeah. is that it? yeah three computers uh three four computers excuse me no, wasn't three there a computers. census that they did based on how many tvs you had in your household uh might have been 20 years ago yeah i think it was something like two and a half per household or something yeah so you would have thrown it off oh i would have thrown it off no so <laughs> far as tv sets i've got six tv sets in this apartment um and uh in the kitchen you know, and uh, when I, I finally got a 4K for the uh, guest room because I watch a lot of television in there, uh, I had to figure out somebody to give the old one to. You know, I moved the old one in here and then I gave them the set that was in here. So. They're hard to get rid of, but I think uh, Rob trumps us all with 120 inches. Yeah. Oh, you got a yeah. big set. Yeah, but he, now that, that you, you've got to qualify that it's a projector. Projector. Ooh, and so that's it, hard to look at, right? It, it, well, no, no. It oh, could it be a movie. It could be 120 inches, or you could focus it down to what five inches if you had to, or something. Like I don't that, know how right? small you can make it, but I could go up to about 145 inches. Yeah, yeah. Just I don't have the wall for it. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to move into another house then. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's into. How's the new house coming, Rob? It's great. I just mowed the lawn. First time this season. Really? Nice. Did you feel like, like you feel like the suburbanite there mowing the lawn? My lawn looks great. It's all oh, green. I had it all fertilized, and it's all nice. Now I got to start watering it. Oh, okay. Do you have sprinklers? I do. Yeah. I do. Wow. I don't like doing the lawn. I'll tell you that. I'm 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 sure by July I'm gonna be sorry. Get yourself a gardener, right? Yeah, I had it last year. In fact, this year the guy came back three times and mowed the lawn. I didn't realize it. You and said, I, no. Okay, well I'll oh, tell you what I get. You, you know what, what? What girlfriend's paying for tomorrow? We we had this guy come in once before. We have a guy come in who cleans our windows. Really? Oh yeah, cool. Oh, wow. He gets out on the outside. Yep. My mother used to hang out the windows on the second floor. I swear to God. What? You used to what? Wait a minute. You I swear, used to hang I swear you out? my grandmother's grave. She used to go out in the old windowsills on the second floor, close 
I was sitting down and we used to hold it and she used to wash the window like a psycho. I took my follow on the push around. Well, no, day. this this <laughs> this guy comes in. This, she was young, I, Alex. I can't young. I can't watch this because I, I I get you know how you sometimes you get this feeling in your stomach of you know That's some, scary. something she, like that's she happening. That he strap himself. He in straps himself the... out on the outside of the windows in this building. There are hooks. Yeah. Okay. So he puts a hook on either side and then he goes on the outside and he hangs by those hooks or uses that to keep him on the ledge so he doesn't fall off. He cleans the window. Now well, he's got to get to the next window. Do you think he comes in again and goes in the next window? Uh, no. no. He goes over. He us. goes over to the next window. Oh, he's got walls of steel. And, I, and, and now, Just may shit. I add to this for all the people that are listening? We are eight stories high. Yeah, you got a big apartment. What are you paying this guy? Huh? Holy shit. What are you paying this guy? Uh, we're paying him $40 a window. Comes about 200 bucks. So did you uh did you guys uh did they show the uh the guys inspecting the Golden Gate Bridge this week out there? Oh, yeah, they were uh j jumping. They were They were climbing up to the they were taking the elevator up the the middle of the bridge and then roping down the sides of the checking all the rivets and stuff. Uh, repelling, yeah, yeah, repelling down the side of the the towers. It was pretty I, crazy. Those guys. I had a friend in college who used to do that in the middle of the night. Well, my brother's my brother's gone up the center and then stood up there on the top tower. Yeah, I should have got out there. Well, with my, my, news, my news woman, up there and, my news woman yeah. in San Francisco, Lori Thompson. If they catch you, you're in jail. No, my friend. Well, they my, took him up there. My hi, uh, how are you, Jeff? Uh, we had. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. What is all that? Right. Did you hear us, Jeff? Yeah, we're on. Oh, okay. Uh, no, what I was going to say is that my uh, newswoman, Lori Thompson, got invited by somebody to go to the top of the tower. And there is an elevator in there, and you go up, and she was on the very top of that tower. I don't think I could, yeah. I could do that. She wanted me to come along, and I just couldn't do it. I was just. Did you ever go up the ice tower? What? Did you ever go up the Eiffel Tower? Yeah. Yes. Did. Yeah. Okay. Well, I ran a, 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 my youngest daughter. Uh, we were there. She was about six or eight, and she was short and, and close to the steps. She ran up 10 flights of steps. I'm running behind her. We get to the observation area, and all I could do was pant. <laughs> well, I, at one, one time that I was there at the Eiffel Tower, I walked up to the first level. Yeah, that's and tense. and I was a young kid at the time, and I was exhausted. All yeah, right? I so ran but the, but the rest of the time I keep, take those inclinators. Uh, that oh, go go yeah. sideways up the. We yeah. had lunch at the Eiffel Tower at the restaurant there, and then they give you the option of walking down instead of taking the elevator down. Mm -hmm. So I walked down. There was a forty-five minute wait for the stairs and a two-hour wait for the elevator. So we took yeah. the. Yeah, the wait the wait at the Eiffel Tower is very long. In fact, I was just looking at a video that we did in Paris, and we have the very scene where we were deciding whether we were going to wait in line or come back the next morning. And we said, let's come back tomorrow morning. Uh, but then there was no tomorrow morning to come back to because we just left town. Yeah. Boy, J hi, Jeff. Hi. Well, this is my friend Terry. Hi, guys. Hi, Terry. Hey. She's with me tonight. Yeah. We're in California. We're in California together. Yeah. And Jeff has brought me with his wife mm -hmm. and um we've had a really good time. Jeff is really good at entertaining two women. He's like a stallion, I'll tell you. He's yeah. extraordinary. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Are we supposed to know that? That's yeah, good. Yeah, you person, right? but you know. Yeah. Having a good, I mean, it's not like I'm a kid, but I'm having a good time. You know what I mean? Well, you know, oh, I mean, wow. he's, he's, got, he's got a lot of stamina because he's got a lot of uh, metal in himself to, you know, make the move. <laughs> hey, Jeff, are you in Santa Barbara? Yeah, the, we're in Santa Barbara. Uh, now, yeah. there's a bunch of fires in Santa Barbara. Are you seeing any of the telltale signs from, from the last fires? Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. we went up towards um, Montecito. We saw where the fires were, the Thomas Fire, and then we saw where the mudslides were. And I used to live in Santa Barbara for about 10 years when I was younger yeah. and taller and thinner, and my stomach was flat. Those were good times. But anyway, mm -hmm. so I'm back here visiting, and um, going there was, was devastating. It's, it's really hard to see a town that you love so much to be devastated the way that it was. Yeah. So I did get a chance to go and survey. We were looking for Oprah's house. Oh. And, um, yeah, I wanted to talk to her, and 
we were not, you know, the cops didn't come after us and we were driving around the neighborhood. Yeah. You know, drinking and driving. It was great. Right. Well, not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no. Who's like running that. a sink there? Somebody running a sink? Yeah, the maid. <laughs> yeah, oh. Pam, uh, my wife, is uh, in the washer machine today. Oh, okay. We, uh, we just kind of finished. Ray, that. did you figure out what your problem was? Ray? Uh, uh, Phil's still frozen, so I don't know. Yeah, you know what happens? I think there's something in the way that they have created Skype where I can get a perfect picture of everybody, but maybe you won't be able to see Phil, or Phil will be frozen, or he'll be spinning, but everybody else sees him. Oh, okay. Uh, it's gotten better over the years, but it, it's still, it, I, and I think it has something to do with, you know, where you are and we're in proximity to where he is to where Jeff is. I look fine, right? Yeah, you're always you perfect. Great. Yeah. Uh, once in a while, you freeze for a split second, but never more yeah, than that. Yeah, but um, um, I also yeah. have. Phil is close to me in proximity. I have, yeah. I have incredible bandwidth here. Uh, but, okay. You know. Yeah, you sign off tonight, uh, do a speed test. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, you'll see if they've throttled you, you know back. Something? I, I, those yeah. speed tests are silly. Uh, they are, because it depends on where you do in the speed test from and to. Well, you do it to the closest one to no, your No, here, here's your what happens. I know. Yeah, but they, I, they, they direct it. I know, you take I, know, it off I know what I have up and down, okay, mm -hmm. or what I'm supposed to be getting up and down, and it really shouldn't vary. It does vary in other rooms because I have uh, cable that I run in there, and it turned out the cable <laughs> I originally put in there was for lower speeds, you know. Uh, but it, here in this room, I can test right next. I've got the, the fibers right here, okay. And if I go to the Fios bandwidth test site, I get full throttle. All my numbers are just high, high, high. Now, yeah. if I go over to AT&T or I go over to uh, oh. Spectrum, all of a sudden I'm getting speeds of like 100. You know, yeah. it's like they're trying to make me feel bad about what I have, so I'll buy them. You think it's that Machiavellian? <laughs> yes, I do. I absolutely do. Because, and some of them, you get one speed, you go to another, you get another speed. You can't tell which one has the best speed. Well, and, and that's, that is by design, not by design, but that's just what the internet is, right? Yeah. Every time you, you connect to a different site, you're connecting through any, there's no direct path. Right. So you hit a bad hop somewhere, you're going to get shitty results. It's, you know, it's the way the internet is. Yeah. I think you should also probably take it off of the um, your router and plug it directly from into the back of your computer. Well, uh, you Be don't have to do that. A router is fine. The router has the same speed coming out of each port. If you have uh, what if what if uh, what if there's somebody in the house downloading a movie or playing a game well, on the it depends, on the it depends TV? On your, it depends or on, if you have a problem depends, with the router. It depends yeah. on your bandwidth. Uh, I mean, wireless? I I can do a show here while girlfriend's watching Netflix, and they, you wouldn't even know it. Do you have uh, do you have fiber optic connection? Else? Yep. Yep. Oh, that's why. Now, Ray, are you connecting wirelessly to your router or? No, no, I'm right into the. Oh. I'm a hardwired. Yeah. Uh, AT&T, uh, let's see here. Uh, Forbin Casa says that an AT&T, i got to put my glasses on because I can't read this. Uh, an AT&T technician told me he uses Speakeasy Speed Test, which is more accurate than ATT. Okay. So, when I've had tech guys come in, they always use Speakeasy. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if I have Speakeasy here. I it's had a problem with Fire. You just go to their website. <clears throat> Yeah, I had a problem with Fios at one point. I couldn't even str I couldn't stream a baseball game. It was constantly locking up, and I called them, and they came down and they they did a speed test to Verizon's test, and it was look at this gorgeous connection. I said, yeah, try any of the other ones. Try Speakeasy. Try any of the other ones, and they all sucked. But this is the one we go by. Is yeah, no shit. But this is a. <laughs> But it was a, it was the Veri the FiOS Verizon uh, uh, site, right? And yeah, they that was the only one that was giving them a good. Well, they want the they, they want to make you f they want to make you feel good. Well, no, they just wanted to you know pawn it off as no problem. Look, I'm like no, 
It's not how it works, especially because it's a direct connection right to Fios from a Fios well, uh, connection. It, it, short, the short, uh, uh, long and short of it is, is that I have, over the years, uh, kept trying these various bandwidth tests, and every one gives me a different result. None of them give me the same result, and I use the ones right in New York City. Right. You know? Well, that's just again. That's just the, the. That's what the internet is. It's not an exact thing. Right. It's good. Isn't that time. the definition of insanity? Hold on, hold on a second. My underpants are riding <laughs> up on me. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. No, you do the same thing over and over again. You get a different result every time. Hey, uh, you know, <laughs> and you've been playing with your earbuds. Have you used that stuff I sent you? That uh, I haven't and had a need for it lately because I didn't have a, a, any kind of a ear infection from it. Oh, uh, you know, well. Just use it in just as a regular part of your hygiene. That's all. Uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll send you something you shove up your ass. That'd be good. Too. No, just stick it in your ear. Yeah, <laughs> stick it in your ear. Um, uh, Phil's had way too much shoved up his ass lately. I think. Well, I yeah, think he's had a lot. Right. He both they cut into my stomach. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they didn't actually go up your ass, did they? No. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And I don't think they'll be even uh, uh, sticking the finger up there anymore. Uh, there's nothing to feel. Yep, right. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And how, how is your continence? <laughs> See, and folks, you know we just like This you. is why we're a very popular program. How's your continence these days? <laughs> <laughs> Did we get more <laughs> listeners on that? Actually, when we started talking about technical stuff, we got uh, the numbers went up. Yeah. That always gets the geeks I, I, you know, And if I have problems here, like something's broken and I'm trying to fix it and I can't figure out what's wrong, numbers go crazy. Here comes Renee Collins. Oh, oh how is she God. doing? Yeah, yeah, I know. I, call I, in. Know. I wanted to find out if she was I under lava. Sister. Yeah, we were. Uh, uh, Renee, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hang on. I'm trying to get my act together. Sorry about this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Kevin made me change my outfit. Yeah. Now I'll tell you, I I, I got to say something here before we go. Oh, the shorts. There you go. Now you're talking. Before we hey, go Friday night. Before you're, we go any further with this, Renee, I oh. uh, I'm I I certainly would like to um, um, have you. Um, uh, hold on a second. I'm trying to get something to work here. Oh, I see what the problem is. Uh, I uh, I I was you know I I got I wrote you a note or something to see if you were okay. And every time, like, there's a, let's say here in New York City, there's a fire all the way downtown. People call me and say, are you okay? You know? <laughs> and so I didn't want to be that kind of guy. But I know that you live on the Big Island, and I know you were talking about the volcano, you know, getting a little rugged out there. Well, what happened with you? Were you okay? And oh. ask about the earthquakes. So, yeah, we'll talk about the earthquakes in a few minutes. Yeah. Um, Pele, uh, Madam Pele has decided to like add new earth. Yeah. So um, she's Pele, actually opened up. Pardon, Phil? Pele, I don't think was a woman. No, she, yeah, in, in this community. No, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, get, get your, get your deity. Oh, was a soccer straight. player. Okay. <laughs> Pele's anyway. a broad, oh, okay? Pele. Yeah. So, oh, so we have, we have full fledged volcano. Uh, well, not a full-fledged volcano, but we have a volcano. It is in eruption, and the poor people of one of the most southern communities down there is now having lava flow through their community. They've been evacuated. Leilani. Pardon? Leilani, a laurel or something? It, Leilani. And they're evacuating the one next door to it because of the sulfur dioxide. Now... The thing about the sulfur is about less than 60 days ago, uh, there was a photographer doing a photography tour on some of the lava fields that had been known to be safe. And he was about 200 pounds and about 6'2". And uh, fi one of the fissures opened up and the, the, the gas came out and he was dead, just dropped him. So and it and it took less than and it took less than 15 minutes. So it, they are now going to be evacuating some of the other communities just because that stuff is coming their way. And unfortunately, for the next 24 hours, the wind is blowing it all the way up the coast. My question, so it, my question to you is, Renee, though, 
why is it that we as people always, you know, in spite of the, the climatological um, danger, uh, always move into places? I mean, for instance, why, why do we live on a fault line? You know, when we lived in San Francisco. And, and why do people in Hawaii live near a volcano? You know, well, oh, now, well it hasn't yeah. erupted in 200 years. Yeah, but, oh, but it, does, it goes about every 201. Okay. Well, you know. <laughs> the problem is, is that every time somebody builds a community, the damn volcano comes up and says, yeah, no, not now. Mm -mm. We're, this one's mine. And then they'll build another community over here and the volcano will come up and say, yep, no, I want that one now. And so it's more mother nature being mother nature. They'll build it on one area and then the lava will open up there. And it's just, well, well you know, we, we can and that, the, that, that the streets are cracking and that there's lava. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that's, so that's what happens with volcanoes, Phil. Yeah. So the problem with this is going to be as the more and more fissures open up, we actually get to see. So right now we can only see like one, two, fire, this kind of stuff. But as the fissures open up, the big picture of how big the flow is, is going to show up. And I'm not sure that they don't already have that information at the USGS. So now how long, how long does something, this kind of eruption keep going? Can it go on for, for years or, or does it just uh, happen and then it settles down and, it's bingo. Everybody builds a new community and then Mother Nature comes along and gets knocks rid of it out again. again. And yeah, it goes on for yeah. it can go it can go on for years at, at any lava level. So it's not always a full blown eruption, yeah. but you know, it could still uh, be spewing uh, lava. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, I just have a question, Renee. I, w I was there two summers ago and there was quite a bit of eruption. And uh, I got some great night photos of the of the crater erupting. I just put it on a tripod with the long exposure and the awesome great. pictures. And um, and then it was also coming down the side of the mountain. But it seems like it just people hadn't built ha you know living spaces there, and so it wasn't that big a deal because there right. was a lot of lava. Isn't um, this yeah. And then, and then in 1983, <laughs> in 1983, it wasn't erupting at all. And I remember walking through the main crater, like just walking around in there. There was no lava anywhere. There was no signs of eruption anywhere. It was. I, I think it's flowing in a different area than it had flowed before. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. To begin with, and, uh, and we, we had, what's his name call us? Our other friend in Hawaii. James. Yeah, J so James. I wanted to put out, we've got an issue. We need to put a shout out to James from Hilo. It's not that we're, I mean, we are worried about you. He is a whole lot closer than well, I am. Well, he's a whole lot closer, but, but he said he's not close enough. And I said, where are you in proximity to? And he said, oh, that's 60 miles away. I mean, we forget. This is called the Big Island for a reason. It's a big island. But sulfur, so what's happening now is depending on where the winds are going, we, we talked about the photographer that just died or died a little while ago, and he was a big hefty guy. He was muscular, and it dropped him. So as those plumes keep coming out, as long as it do, those things aren't shifting towards Hilo, um, then it, it then they so what they'll do is they'll tell you if, if it starts to come in your area they'll tell you to lock yourself in the house turn the air conditioner on uh if you have uh copd make sure you've got your inhaler near you and all this wonderful stuff so if james needs a place to come and stay whether he's whether he really wants to leave Hilo or not he my place is open for you buddy okay and i i do have do a dog He's not really good with little dogs, but I think we could probably make that work. Yes. Hey, Renee, dioxide. where are you? Kona? Dioxide's a nasty gas. Really yeah. nasty gas. Oh, man, this guy was like, you should have seen. He was he was, he was, was pretty hefty. I mean, he was not fat. He it was burns, stuffed. It burns your throat. Dropped wow. him. No, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, point two corrosive. It burns your, it burns your lungs. Yeah. yeah. One was, ppm will kill you. Really? One? Yeah. Oh. And so it's a heavier it's a heavier than air gas. It'll drop to the ground rather than go up. How do you know here. how wait a minute, hold on a second. How do you know this fact? Yeah. Well, I used to play with that stuff. Oh I used, I used to store gases. I used to store gases and that was one of them. Oh so wow. can you explain to me that that whole theory that you or that whole thing that you just discussed? I have a real problem with uh, 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 diesel smells and gasoline smells because it is a very humid area they really hover at the ground 
And this seems to be very true for a lot of gases. And I don't understand if it's because I'm so close to the equator. Is it because of the temperature? How that's is it vapor. that I get off? Yeah, that's just a vapor from the, that's not the gas itself. That's the vapor off the gas. Now, am I right that's, to believe that this liquid, and then you got yeah. the vapor. Am I right Thank to you. believe that this town that it was, um, that it happened Leilani in? Leilani Estates. What, it isn't, it's like a, a retirement community. No, no, it's, it? a, it's no? a subdivision. Oh, okay. You know, just a, a regular sub. I mean, their houses aren't these really, it's not two-story houses, but it's a regular nice subdivision. Decent what, what, subdivision. What, was, what was their motto? Our homes will blow you away? What about the 6.9 quake? Oh, baby. Yeah, that was like at 4 o'clock okay. on our time. So where this quake, and this is the other reason I want to I want to make sure Jim's okay, is because I he sounded He sounded like he was okay. Yeah. Two hours north of the of the epicenter of this quake. Two hour drive time. Mm. So as the crow flies, it's probably like what forty minutes or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Sitting on the couch, I'm going. It started to shake. I'm like, okay, that's a shake of a four point five, and then it got bigger, and then it and then it got. And then it came back down. But then its problem with the quakes seem to be here is they elongate, meaning that with the quakes you feel in California, sometimes they're just like these brief puppies. But sometimes I mean, yeah, the there are two kinds. There, quake, it, it, it was, in California, there are two kinds that you get. One is the, the like the crack. You know, yeah. you get like, boom, you know, like yep. almost like that. The other is a steady build, okay? That's what and the that, 89 was, and that, steady yeah, build. That was 89, and what's was scary right. about that is that you don't know how big it's going to build it's to. Get. <laughs> it just you know, kept going and going and going. Yeah. <laughs> well, and houses in Hawaii, are they built for quakes like San Francisco, <laughs> or uh, do you have uh, you know issues with construction? Well, now, see, there's the whole, this is, you can over-engineer anything. And I've had this conversation with Native people here, and some of these houses, it, it, not these houses, because in Lelani Estates, these are semi-decent houses, and and these are built, you know, semi-recently, so like with eight and nine, probably late 90s or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, but the older homes were built on a rock, so each foundation each beam had a rock that it sat on all the way around. And all they did if those things, you know, budged a little bit is the rock would absorb the tilting of the rock would absorb the shock and it wouldn't it wouldn't go up into the structure itself. So when I watch all of these things that we used to watch in California about all of these quakes, I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, 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 the, the thing was that uh, right after the Loma Prieta, there were a lot of the other little quakes. Uh, mm -hmm. And every time one of them would start, you know, uh, you, uh, we used to say, go run under a door. You know. Those were the aftershocks. Uh, and yeah. Some of those weren't little. Some of no, them no, were no, but some of them, some well, of them started building there up. There was and one you, that was 5'8". And one they, yeah. once they started, well, the second one right mm -hmm. after the original quake was the 5'8". Yeah. Uh, it happened about a couple hours later. Uh, yeah. But is, we had them for weeks. Do you know that you didn't feel some of them, but there were something like over a thousand or so aftershocks for weeks. Mm. You know, and so this is something all Californians learn, and everybody on the continent needs to know. The original or aftershocks of an earthquake can be at a higher magnitude than the quake itself. Okay. Well, also there's there's one other yeah. factor we haven't mentioned here. It's not only the force of the of the, of the earthquake, but how long it lasts. Yes. In other words, if you take a piece of metal and you start bending it and bending it and bending it, eventually you're going to take the metal is going to break, right? So the longer you do that, so what happens is, is the longer the quake is, the more damage is done. Don't if it's just a quick jolt, you know, if it's just a quick jolt, you you have less damage. Alex, don't forget what happened in the marina, which was called liquefaction, yeah. where the uh, the um, uh, water percolates up well, through well, the because, soil. Because, no, because uh, in uh, right. in the marina that was it's built. Uh, no, it was landfill. built. It was built on landfill. They put oh, landfill. Right. Right. And, and oddly enough, the, sometimes the uh, epicenter is not 
the worst place. To oh no, the epicenter yeah. may be the best people. place to be because that's where the least shock happens. It radiates exactly. out. It's the waves around the outside. It's like but, dropping a drop of water in the middle. Now, but in a way, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But I saw. I remember seeing the epicenter was near somebody's cabin, and the cabin was fine, but the the. Uh, the crack of the ground was like huge, well, you know. Uh, oddly now, enough, the cabin was right there. Uh, uh, oddly enough, the landfill from the 19 mm -hmm. uh, for, for for the marina was from the rubble from the 1906 earthquake. They took all the rubble out there and they built a whole area where in which they built the 1916 Pan American Exposition. And when it left, they built houses there. Yes, Pat, uh, Phil. I went down to mm. Hollister, where uh, Kevin lives, uh, with a uh, group of uh, geologists. And we were looking at the fault that runs through Hollister and looking at the sidewalks and the streets. You, you, Kevin, you live in a very active earthquake area. Yeah, we got a little section in the paper that has that earthquake activity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we, well, Monterey well, Street, well, you I went have because they um, don't even fix it anymore. If you go right. out, if you go out to Marin, and I'm trying to remember the name of the town now, it's <laughs> nice. uh, it, 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 it's out it's like, around where Stinson Beach is. It's this small little town, and that was the epicenter of the 1906 earthquake. And you can actually go out there, and you can see the San Andreas Fault, and it's a hump. It's a hump in the ground. Is it Tamales Bay? Well, it's that, near Tamales Bay, but I'm Nicasio. trying to remember. Uh, no, it wasn't okay. Nicasio. It's past Nicasio. It's a little. Uh, it starts with a P, if I remember correctly. The town. Uh, if I took my webcam, I could stick it out my window and show you the fall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, uh, uh, Renee. Okay, so just so everybody's clear, that was one of about thirty quakes in the past thirty hours or so. Yeah. So well, these I can read people them to down. You if you want. I got my earthquake uh, app right. Yeah, and so these people are getting pounded. So I felt two quakes today. That was one, and then about an hour later, I felt another one that was just as bad, which leads me to believe that that second quake was closer to me. Do you, what, what, uh, uh, it's hard it's for all uh, uh, oh, Yep, that's us. Four, yeah, so a all bunch Hawaii. Of, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So they're getting That's just one page. Yeah. So it it's it and what happens is what people there's a couple things that happen that people don't understand is you get into shock mode. All yeah. right. If you're in a quake, you kind of get you're yeah. a little unsteady and then the next quake makes you just as unsteady. So that PTSD about the that first one reoccurs. So every time you have an earthquake after that, you get that same feeling and you go through it over I, I and found, over. I found the opposite, Renee. I found that the, you, I needed a stronger and stronger quake to feel them. Uh, you know, uh, when I first moved to San Francisco, there was like a three and a half or a four. And, you know, I said, oh, my God, you know, what's happening? The earth is. is. And then now a four. I mean, I don't even feel it. Uh, it's yeah, either five and a half well, or six. It's like when you finally have really good sex, and then all of a sudden you have more good sex. After a while, it has to be really exactly good for it to be say. better. Yeah, I was just yeah. going to say, stop talking about your sex life. Uh, yeah, uh, Jeff had his hand up. Yeah, Jeff. Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just very curious as to the, the whole thing because I don't know much about it at all, uh, in pragmatically. You know, uh, I lived in Iowa at one time, and 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 we had uh, some kind of trauma. Yeah, yeah. And that, you know, that woke everybody up for an hour, and then it was gone for the rest <laughs> of our lives. You Those know? are called crop circles. <laughs> well, most people don't live. Uh, people who it's first the aliens. come out, if people who first come out to California are afraid of the of the earthquakes. I grew up with them, so I wasn't afraid of them. It was just. <laughs> Each one had a little terror with them. Yes, Ray. Yeah, yeah. Renee, I'm just wondering where you are in Hawaii because I've been there a lot. I'm just okay. So um, I am close to the big resorts on the Kahala coast. Oh, okay. So, so you're I'm out in the middle of the lava fields, the old lava field. Oh, I'm pat no, I'm in the desert area. Oh, okay, okay. There's a desert Why? in Hawaii. There's lava in Hawaii too. Yeah. So yeah, there's desert in Hawaii. There's <laughs> snow in Hawaii if you look for it. You can ski yeah. there. So Not normally, bad. normally, you know how I I take the iPad and I show you around the deck and point it out and I say if you can see that mountain way back there, that's where the observatories are. You can't even see a mile away from us. 
Is uh, that, is it it's, ash? Yeah, well, it's it's just all the weather is just on that part of the island. Wow. So. Wow. And then the airlines are going, yeah, maybe what we're going to do is give people a ticket to, so that they can get off earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, so oh I my. think a lot of the pe- scientists are here. But you can't do the boat tour. I haven't checked to see if Rob, the boat tour was Rob, available. you ever lived near an earthquake area or anything like that? Uh, not on a regular basis. I've been through them. We had one here in Virginia back in 2011. You had one in Washington, D.C. That's why they had to yeah. close down the uh, Washington Mon- Memorial. Monument. That's right. I was through that one. That one shook the building I was working at pretty good. We were all like, what the? <laughs> but that's an yeah. area that's not used to it, right? Correct. Uh, yeah, see, I worry about the, the fra- this is ridiculous, the fracking down in in these southern states, Missouri and places like that, they should not be allowed to do so that because you, none of those homes are built for earthquake anything. Are you getting uh, these earthquakes because of fracking in Hawaii? No, no, Mother no. It's wins. Mother Nature wins. Yeah, exactly. Mother yes, nature Ray. Wins. So, Renee, are you thinking about like whether or not you should uh, move, or at least on a temporary basis? She's from San Francisco. She's been through this. <laughs> no, I, you know, there may not be a better place that you can go, but at least you're familiar with it. Well, I think she's pretty safe where she is for the time being. Yes, uh, Ray. Hey, Renee, I'm just, I'm just looking at the map uh, here where you are. I remember last time I drove on that road, and right in front of me was a big lava flow uh, running down the mountain. Right? Well, are you? So you have to. So if everybody's looking at a map, you're going to be looking at. The left side of the island, which yeah. of course in this case is the west side, um, yeah. but you need to look at the very top point. It's called Javi. Yeah, H-A- Javi. Yeah, I've been, yeah. I've been there. Yeah, I, I okay. did the Iron Man. I went to, through Javi. You yeah. did the yeah. Iron Man? Yeah, in '83. Yeah. Jesus, wow! More power <laughs> to you, buddy. Whoa. Um, so well, he, he, uh, he's the matinee idol of the citizens panel. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. He acts. Nice. This is a dog. Why? This is great. Um, so I'm between Kauai High and Jave. Okay. Oh, okay. And Jave is right next to it is Nagila, right? Hey, beautiful there. Jave and Nagila. You get it? Oh, I made a joke. Hey, listen, this has been great. And, and talking to you, being there in Hawaii when the whole world's talking about the, explo- the volcano out there. Explosion. It was a lead was a- story tonight on NBC News. Good. Lead story. Uh, uh, just keep safe and uh, thank you. Stay inside. Don't breathe the air. And, yeah, uh, the and just remember, ass. you're in paradise. Uh, <laughs> yes, Phil. Thank you so much for calling tonight. Thank you, uh, uh, Kevin, for being with us. Tony, glad you finally got your microphone working. Renee, stay safe. Rob, thanks for calling. Appreciate it. And the same to you, mm-hmm. Ray. And the same to you, Jeff. Are you traveling back to ca- from California soon? In the morning. Okay, travel. In the morning, we're coming travel. back home. Travel safely, everybody. I think you should give a, a big uh, wave goodbye to everybody so they could uh, miss you a lot. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. That's our citizens panel for tonight. Uh, let, me, uh, let me get rid of them here. Let's see. I wonder if they're still going to be able to talk to each other. Well, I, I've, I've shut everything down on this end, so... I don't think there'll be that problem, but who knows? Anyway, listen, we got on late tonight because there were problems. Uh, The show uh, was going one way and then another. Uh, And finally, we settled down to some really good discussion and a a first-hand report of the volcanic action in uh, Hawaii. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett. We'll be back here on Tuesday, uh, right after the uh, exchange with uh, uh, Damian Chaplin. Uh, next is uh, the intersection with Jack and Amy, and right after that, at uh, one o'clock in the morning Eastern Daylight Time, will be connections. I'm about to sneeze here. Uh, it will be connections. In the meantime, <laughs> uh, I'll see you on Tuesday, same time, same station in life. In the meantime. You see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.